Hey everyone, Edrington here. So in this video, I would like to show you how to create a test slash quiz. So for this assignment, it doesn't have to be assigned as a test or a quiz. It could just be a regular assignment where the students are answering um, questions. The difference between these two options, the test quiz and the assessment, the blue and the green puzzle pieces. When you have created a assessment, the students will see one question per page. Once they've answered that question, they'll click next and go on to the next question. Um, I do feel like this blue puzzle piece, the ad assessment, um, it does give you more options for the type of question that you create. On the other hand, this the green puzzle piece, the test slash quiz, um, you have a little more freedom to create the format how you would like. So you don't have to have the students answering one question, go to the next page. One question, go to the next page. You can format it a little differently. You can have the students answer five questions and then go to the next page. Answer two questions and then go to the next page. You also have options to um, put in text. So if you are a, maybe you're a reading teacher and you need the students to read a paragraph and then answer questions, you can insert the paragraph and then you can insert the questions that go with that paragraph, a page break, so that they go on to the next page. Being a math teacher, I've used this one quite often. If the students are given a set of data, that they have to look at for multiple questions. I'll use this, um, the green puzzle piece option um, for those types of assignments. So let's look at those. <clears throat> when you click on it, you will have to create a name for your assignment. Um, you can choose to set a due date. You must select a, a category for grading. It could be ungraded. You could select a category that you've already created or you can create a new one and then um, any other settings that you would like to mess with you're more than welcome to those are usually the only ones that I deal with um, so create when you um, create it the first page that you come to is your questions so you can dive right in and start making questions or you can go over here to your settings. Definitely check out your settings before you assign it to your students. Here's where you can type up the instructions. You can, actually you must, change this submission setting to enable. If you do not change it to enable, your students will not have the option to start the assignment. You could choose to enable it up until a certain due date and then they can't uh, make submissions anymore. Um, you can assign it from a certain date to a certain date, or you can keep it as disabled until you are ready to come back in and enable it before they answer it. You could set a time limit. You, could, you can uh, choose how many times they attempt this particular assignment. You can choose to put the questions in a random order. If you choose to put them in a random order, however, then any page breaks, texts that you use will get all jumbled up. So be wary of that. Um, this option for question review lets the students go back. So if they, um, they realize, oh, I didn't get this question correct, then they can go back to the, the previous pages. Resumable means um, if the student stops and signs out, can they log back in and start where they left off? Or is it just, no, you can't, you gotta completely start over type situation. This view submission is for when the students are finished. Do you want them to be able to go back in and see um, the questions? Yes or no? 
Um, you can also choose to let them go back in and see the question with the correct answer. So that's an option that you can choose from. And then down here are some printing options if you um, are going to print this to give to your students um, hard copy. So if you go back over here to questions, this is where you're going to add any of your questions. You can make true false questions, multiple choice questions, ordering, short answer, fill in the blank, or matching. These two options are for uh, pre-made questions. So if somebody else makes the question for you and you save it to a question bank, then you can click on here and just copy it over. Um, same with an entire test or quiz. If you have already started one somewhere or somebody else has and you've saved it, you can click on here and um, just import it and then edit it how you, how you want. These two options on the bottom, the text is what I was talking about um, a little earlier in the video where you can type up some directions or some set of data or you could even import an image. So if you want to give the students an image, I know science does this um, often as they show the students an image and then they need the students to answer questions about that image. You could um, insert a link if you want the students to go to a separate site, do some research, and then answer questions about it. You can do that. Um, if you need to put in some special characters or equations, um, you can do that using this box with the arrow as well. The created text is basically just show this to the students but they don't really necessarily have to do anything to it. And then this uh, page break right here is to allow the students to um, go to a next page. If you want all the questions on one page, you don't want them to have to push next or anything, then you don't have to worry about this page break. But the page break, like I said, again, has them click next to go to the next page. Once you have all your questions finished, you can click the gear icon over here and copy it to your courses. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, ask me, I will answer them as quickly as I can. Um, if I don't know the answer, I will find somebody or figure it out. So um, yeah, hope this helped. Have a great day.